I'm starting as a rank one in 2023 in GTA 5 line with the ultimate goal of becoming a multi-millionaire. So here's how that went down. Now I'm gonna make my guy look like a carny. Now if you get all the carnies you guys can at your local fair, put them all together, you probably get yourself one full set of teeth. And that's my goal for this guy right here. There you go, that's what I'm talking about. This man is great A Haggard. I'm gonna call this man Dirt Stain because the Dirt Stain is a good name for this man. So right now we are joining G never mind. Guys, Dirtstein has touched ground in the GTA 5 line at a rank 1 with $1.33 million in GTA 5 line. I have reached my goals, and I'll see you guys later. Just joking, my first goal is get myself a presser. I'm pretty sure they're pretty cheap in this game with the latest update in GTA 5 line. A whopping $8 million. I could afford it. I'm going to buy it, and guess what? I can't do it because I don't have myself a gay rod. Now, our goal for right now is get ourselves a gay rod because we need a store vehicle somewhere. Now, the Dirtstein, even though he might have no teeth, he does have a brain. And with that brain, I decided to get myself a Gerald's Cash. Now, somebody without a brain actually bought himself a mod menu and night night everybody in the lobby. It's okay, you can never knock down a dirt stain like me. I got myself back up and I started running to Gerald's Cash. I finally arrived into the circle where Gerald's Cash is chilling. And now may I say, this one here is a little hard for me to find. It was hiding in crevices, spots I would probably never look, but eventually I found it. Giving myself $15,000. Also a little dose of sleep paralysis because I cannot move at all. Literally, when you find Gerald's Cash, you're stuck for like 20 seconds. Can't move. After waking up from my sleep paralysis, I got up and said, time to go over here to the stash house so I get myself $30,000 from this safe. Also, the model with no brain was actually doing some artwork in the street, making it look pretty darn sweet. After that tremendous artwork I saw down the road, I got a little tipsy. May I say something strange happened to me. I became the beast in GTA 5 line. It's my first time ever becoming the beast, the almighty beast, the one and only this man right here. The dirt stain himself is now the beast in GTA 5 line. I had to get myself 10 checkpoints around the map. People would come after me because they know I'm the beast. Now a couple checkpoints in, I noticed nobody cares out on the beast in GTA 5 line. The first time I've ever been it, nobody cares. The dirt stain is a beast, so nobody in this goddamn lobby cares. Now Salty Tree Fox doesn't care at all. 0% interest. But I'm the beast. I think at my third checkpoint, something strange happened. I felt like somebody was going to come after me, and guess what? It wasn't the Salty Tree Frogs. No, it wasn't. This man on the presser was coming after me because he knew I was a beast and he wanted to ruin my time. My first time ever being the beast. He wanted to stop me from getting all these checkpoints. Now, me as a beast also has a dirt stain. I only have one thing on me. It's Gator's Gat right here to fight myself away from a guy with a presser. Yeah. This guy over here, Macintosh, actually got me in the head with the presser once, actually twice. It actually almost night nighted me fully, but I got Gator's Gat. And listen, this is a little embarrassing, but I destroyed this man with Gator's Gat. He's probably like a rank 500. Put some salt in the wounds, no pun intended, to salty frogs over there. But hey, some salt in the wounds. I stole this man's a presser and I got away. Now I didn't want to get too high because I knew this man's eventually going to get his oppressor back because he wanted to get it back for his mechanic. So I drove around pretty far away from this man because I didn't want to get night nighted from him because I literally have no life. So Macintosh kicked me off his oppressor. I got pretty sad. He's probably pretty salty. Hey, two different worlds we're living in right now. So I had to go over here and get myself some more of these checkpoints before I get night nighted. I came over here by the mall and I saw somebody chilling at one of the checkpoints. I can't pronounce his name. Just get an easy name like Jeff 53 or something like that. It's a lot easier to pronounce because my dyslexia is kicking in. So I decided to get away from that checkpoint because because I didn't want to get night knighted as a beast. I want that $30,000 in the bank because we're rank one. We just killed some guy on a bike. We're doing great things in life. Now, you can hear the excitement in my voice. I'm getting so hyped, but something something strange happened again. Never Macintosh, the man that tried to kill me on his oppressor, and I shot him in the head. Well, guess what? This man came back with a vengeance. Now, I don't know if this man can see me on the map right here, so I'm trying to act as a pedestrian right here, but guess what? This man has a mind like no other. Macintosh is on his game. He knows I'm not an NPC, so he came after me. Now, guys, Durstain gives creds when creds are deserved. This man did not shoot us down with his rockets. He actually used his machine gun. So, guys, he's doing it the right way. He's doing the right way. Now, I'm trying to hide from this man again. Maybe he doesn't see me. Maybe I was just a fluke before thinking because this is my first time ever doing this. And I don't know if the beast is all at the radar unless he gets close to a checkpoint. So, I decided, hey, let me park my car over here by the corner. And Mr. Macintosh is coming hot on me right now. Turn off my lights in my car. Maybe he doesn't see me. Act like nothing's happening. But guess what? Macintosh comes in hot with the ram, my boys. He ran me up the, you know what, so I get out of there. My car is almost literally destroyed. I'm sweating bullets. My cankles are also sweating. And my blood pressure is up just a tad, but I know Macintosh has a slow car so I can get out of there with my car that literally has almost no wheels. Now, objective have changed. We had to switch this vehicle over here after we get our second to last checkpoint because, guys, this car is not going to make another mile. Knowing this, I said, no what? Let me go here and get this second to last checkpoint because Macintosh is hot on my, you know what? So I went over here, started spinning the circles, my boys. See, we got to switch out the vehicles. I got myself this little sports vehicle right here. Now I'm doing this because I don't think Macintosh knows where I am. So right now I'm going to act like an NPC Macintosh, as you guys can see, top right corner. He's just driving along. He doesn't know who I am. He probably, he knows. He knows Macintosh knows who I am because I'm the beast. And Macintosh just hit one of my tires out, my boys. We are going downhill faster than my car with no wheels, my boys. At this point, 
over here, I was sweating bolts because I had to get out of there because Macintosh, again, give him credit when credit's due, my boys. He's not locking on us with his rockets, so he's playing the game right. This is how you're supposed to play because it's more fun. My car started slipping and sliding because I have no wheels again, my boys. Macintosh was hot on my butt, and so I turned around, bada boom, bada bing. No, no, guys, I killed Macintosh twice with Gator's Gat right there. As you guys can see, give credit when credit's due. This man didn't lock on me with rockets, but this man just got night knighted by me with a pistol. Twice. And I'm like a rank one. A little embarrassing for Macintosh. Let's not talk about it. Let's give credit and credit to He didn't lock on us with rockets. So, guys, I came over here. I got the last checkpoint and I got myself $30,000. But wait, we had to go over here to the stash house. It's an extra $30,000 just sitting there. So, I busted into the stash house, went downstairs, took care of all the NPCs, had to find myself the code. I went over here, I got myself the code, then I got myself over here into the safe. Feeling good about myself. I decided to get out of there, but my car somehow despawned. So, I had no ammo or anything, but the NPCs are coming in hot on me my boys i went over here you know let's just not talk about it let's just not talk about it literally no jokes i'm playing like a rank one so i spawned and i had an angry mob after me so i decided let me go in the ocean and get a little salty and bada boom a bada bing i got myself thirty-six thousand dollars just like that Meaning now i have enough money to buy myself my first gear Roger gta 5 line as a low rank aka rank one my boys so bada boom bada bing i had them for free but i wasn't gonna buy them because we're doing it the right way my boys twenty five thousand dollars is the cheapest one so why not my boys this one here is gonna be our first gear Roger gta 5 line so we go ahead and get ourselves a car but something else happened i was over here trying to get myself a bike for my garage and this happened this man got a stick and decided to start swinging at i was me. just trying to buy a bike that's literally the only thing i was trying to do i wasn't trying to throw hands but this man is a modder so i literally can't do anything so i'm sitting here a little sad a little salty and decided hey let me go back and get myself this bike because i want to do the time trial for this week in gta 5 line because this bike right here can net me a hundred thousand dollars now since we got a garage our newest goal right now in gta 5 line is get ourselves an mc club so i started to do this time trial right here and when i was doing this one here i realized i already did a time trial on my other character so i'm literally not gonna get a hundred thousand dollars for this so i decided not today sister so like any reasonable adult i decided hey let's go ahead and get the money that i made so far let's go to the casino and try our luck my boys i gave the valet guy my bike and said hey time to get money at the casino and then there was a pointless cutscene that happened for 50 minutes i didn't i didn't, I didn't care about it now i'm in a casino all the stimuluses are hitting me at once i want this car right here why because i have a new garage for twenty five thousand dollars so i'm come over here to the teller and get my daily bonus of a thousand dollars in chips hey just like any degenerate would say if you don't play you don't win so i went over here to the great wheel of fortune and said hey time to spin this thing let's try the luck let's try to get ourselves this car right here so i gave it a good spin a and tested my luck and guys guess what got myself twenty thousand dollars now i can do one of two things i can save the money i just won from the wheel i can go ahead and trade in for chips i'm gonna trade in for chips because i'm a dirt thing and i'm really degenerate at this game right now so it's it's one of those things so i was playing the slots and i literally didn't i, I lost it all i right down the drain there went all my money twenty thousand dollars in the bank i won from the wheel of fortune guess what the fortune is not strong with the dirt stain today but my grandma gave me a loan of 133 million dollars so i decided to get new clothes for dirt stain because we gotta look pretty darn haggard to fit the character am i right so while I was using grandma's money i decided to get myself some new threads and may i say dirt stains looking a little pretty darn good to get himself maybe even a woman in his life now right now dirt stains looking a little toothless aggression right now but hey my boys this is a character we have for gta 5 line we gotta play the part so dirt stain looking pretty dirty now we got some new threads on dirt stain this man's looking as sharp as a dull knife my boys so look at this man you, you you couldn't keep your eyes off of him he looks tremendous now for the next video in this series right here we're gonna get ourselves an mc business so make sure you guys check out that video when it comes out my boys dirt stain out